day has been a long time coming. I've spent the last six months preparing for today. I have controlled my cheat meals. I have controlled my snacking at work. And by snacking at work, I mean eating every chocolate in sight. I'm more aware of my sodium intake, my sugar intake. Months of research into what needs to get done, what I need to do, how I'm gonna do this, and it all starts today. Oh, I am so excited. I am so happy. It's here. I'm ready. Let's do this. So for anyone who saw my how to make your own fitness tricks video, you would have heard that I will be competing in my very first bodybuilding competition this fall. August 15th is the date that I'm looking for. It's the date that I've centered my entire timeline around for how I'm going to pull this off. And um, I made a whole separate Instagram account as well that's been documenting this process since day one. So since that very first day, it's been on Instagram. So if you're curious to see where I started and all that jazz, definitely go follow my Instagram because that'll have the whole story from the very beginning on it for you. So, going to the stage. I have actually planned out an entire year of time dedicated to getting ready for this. Why did I choose a year? Well, the time when I decided I was actually going to do this and commit to it and stick to it. I... I don't want to say I was like in a bad place, because I wasn't in a bad place, but like fitness and health wise, I think I wasn't in the greatest mentality overall. And I think I was just really nervous about kind of jumping in when I wasn't really used to kind of being strict on my diet and things like that. I'd kind of really relaxed um, with everything. I still went to the gym, but other than that, I just wasn't really doing anything outside of working out. And I think just being in that headspace and not a very fitness focused headspace anymore, um, I was just nervous of jumping right in, jumping all the way in. And I just, for me, I was like, if I jump all the way in and it's just like, I'm not used to that anymore, I might end up quitting and not want to do it. But I really, really didn't want to do this. So I wanted to do whatever I thought I needed to do to make this happen. So for me, that was slowly getting back into it, slowly getting used to it, and hopefully it becoming a habit and not something I'm forcing upon myself. And that's what ended up happening. I slowly got better at eating out, I slowly got better at tracking and being more aware of what I was eating to the point where it's very natural for me. It comes easy to me now. It's not something that I have to think about as much. And I didn't just want that for the competing part of it, but I just wanted that to be my life. I love fitness and I love everything about it. And I kind of stopped letting it be a big part of my life for a while and just getting back into the flow of everything just reignited that passion. And, you know, that's something that I, I hoped for. And I'm really happy that I decided to take that slower route so I can just slowly get back into it, slowly refine that passion, and I mean, I'm excited to go into a cut, which is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going into a cut right now for 10 weeks, and I'm excited for it. Like, yeah, I'm going to be hungry and, you know, maybe not as strong as I was, but as I was, but I'm still excited to actually start implementing everything that I've been working on for the last six months. And that's, that's what this video is about today. It's going to be about why I'm doing the cut and how I'm going to be doing the cut. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so like I said, I will be starting a cut today. And But what is a cut? For those of you that don't know, a cut is when you're trying to get rid of body fat, not just weight and you're just trying to lose weight. You're trying to specifically get rid of body fat while also preserving your muscle mass. So why am I doing a cut before I do my prep? I'm doing a cut for two reasons. The first reason being I've tried to cut before. I think I've tried to cut three times in my life, all within the last three-ish years, I want to say. None of them have really ended well, or I've never really finished any. 
So <laughs> this is just kind of like a trial run for me to see if I'm able to do it. The second reason why I'm doing a cut prior to doing my prep um, is because um, as of today, I did measure myself. I'm about 20.7% body fat and most competitors on show day range between 8 to 12%. Now, normally I think 12 to 18%, I want to say, is like the above average extraordinary like body fat percentage for women. If you go lower than 12%, but you're in the danger zone. But I believe it's 12 to 18%, but that's like the exceptional place to be. And I'm, I'm almost there, I'm a little bit above it. But the thing is, when you're starting from a higher body fat percentage, you're going to have to work longer and harder during your prep to get down to that eight to 12% range. And you wanna get down to that range so you can see the muscles that the judge are gonna be judging you on, that's why. Um, so I don't wanna make this longer and harder than it's already gonna be. It's 12 weeks of it's not gonna be fun. So I don't wanna make that 15 weeks, 20 weeks, I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound like fun. That sounds like, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. So to kind of help not put myself in that situation, I want to try and get my body fat percentage to a lower number just to give myself a better starting point for my prep. So what am I going to be doing for my cut? I'm doing three different things. I'm changing my diet, I'm changing my workouts, and I'm also changing my water intake. So for my for my food, I am going into a 25% caloric deficit. So I am going from 1900 calories to 1425 calories. For my macro split, I'm going to be doing 40% from carbs, 25% from fat, and 35% from protein. We're going to see if that's a good split for me. If it's not, I'm definitely going to change it either halfway through my cut or I may just change it when I'm in my prep. We'll, we'll see how that goes. My workouts, I currently have a five day split. I will be going from that five day split to a six day split, adding an extra day. And that way I'm going to be getting two leg days, two back days, two chest days, as well as an arm day, I believe is the sixth one that I'm adding one just for the biceps, triceps, and shoulders. And I'm also adding three 30 minute cardio sessions per week. Um, I definitely dropped my cardio in the last three months to focus mostly on my muscle building, so I didn't tire them out more than I needed to, and so that's going to be fun, getting to add that cardio back in. It's not going to be fun. I'm really not looking forward to that at all. But here we are. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Workout-wise, last thing that I'm going to be doing is my water intake. I've been getting better at this. Um, originally I would just be drinking from this bottle, this is about 20 ounces when I was at work, I'd be able to fill up once, drink it, and then I got really lazy and I don't, I wouldn't get back up to refill it, and then I'd refill it when I was at the gym, and so maybe I was having about 40 ounces a day. I have been getting better, like I said, and getting up to refill when I need to, but before I started getting better, I ordered this. This is a gallon of water, and the reason I ordered it was because I knew I was super lazy and didn't like getting up to refill my water bottle. So I was like, if I just get a really big water bottle, then I can, I know I'm drinking the water I need to, and I don't have to get up multiple times, because I'm not going to, because I'm lazy. But then I started not getting lazy and filling this up like three times during the day. But I already have it, so let's use it. But also, it has like little motivational words on it, like... At times, like, I should be here, but like, eight, and then by here, oh, it's eight to eight. It's 12 hours. I'm up by eight. Perfect. Oh, that's a lot to drink by eight o'clock. Am I supposed to spill to the line? I'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I am upping my water to about a gallon a day. I already have to pee so much, and I'm not even drinking a gallon a day, just from filling this up multiple times throughout the day. Also, cheat days. So for anyone who did watch my How to Make Your Own Fitness Tricks video or have been following me on Instagram, you would know that currently I have been doing two cheat meals a week. Not necessarily every week, but if I that second one was just there just in case I needed it. Um, but I've also been tracking them so I wouldn't go over 300 calories of my maintenance level. Um, during the cheat meals, so I was definitely more conscientious. That is now dropping down to one cheat meal a week. And I think it's, I don't want to go 500 calories over. It's either 500 over my maintenance or I, I want to say it's 500 calories over what I'm cutting at. So I don't want to go over 1900 calories. 19? 
100 calories, if that's, if I did the math, if I'm remembering that right. Before, I, I would make sure I wasn't, like right now, what I've been doing, I would make sure I just wasn't eating over 2,200 calories, period. But I could be eating like donuts in the morning and then going out to eat at night, as long as I didn't go over that caloric intake. This time around for my cut, I'm only going to have one cheat meal. So if I eat donuts in the morning, that's my cheat meal. That's it. I don't even care if I didn't go over 500 calories. That's it, because I want to get it down to just one meal. I don't want to make it a whole day or anything like that. It's just going to be one meal. That's a personal decision I'm making. I didn't really look into if, if I did it the other way. So I don't really know, but that's just something I'm personally doing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. Bye.